2.6c related rates. In this section, we're going to be dealing with the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. And I'm sure you're familiar with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. However, for the most part, I'll be writing it as x squared plus y squared equals c squared. Uh, because we are accustomed to using x and y, not really a, b, and c when dealing with equations. Um, but it really doesn't matter. Just giving you a heads up. Now, uh, a note. When our rates... Um, and you'll see when we start doing the problems, are in this direction, headed towards at the 90 degree angle. That would be a good way to tell where it's headed towards. Um, our rate's going to be negative. Either or. If one of them is headed towards, it's negative. The other one can be headed away. Um, but when it is going the other direction, they'll be positive. Look at the at the triangle. What what would happen if these sides were to get bigger? If they were to get bigger, the triangle would be getting bigger, right? So it should be positive. Um, if these measurements were getting smaller, then the triangle would be getting smaller. Okay, so it would be negative. That's logical. Okay. Um, also, we will be doing proportions. Of similar triangles. Uh, so basically we'll have a triangle and within that triangle we'll have two. So we'll have a triangle like this and then we'll have it cut into two of them and they are similar right triangles and we'll have some kind of like A and then this could be B and this could be C and that could be D and this together is C plus D and then we'll write a proportion. Now something that looks like this, like A over C plus D, so this side here over this side, right? And then that'll equal um, this side, B, which corresponds to the A, over just this side, D. And then that'll be our proportion. Okay, uh, I'll review of geometry, mind I ask, um, or <laughs> might I add. Example one, a 20 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. If the bottom of the ladder is pulled along the level pavement directly away from the wall at two feet per second, how fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall when the foot of the ladder is four, free, four feet from the wall? So I'm going to draw something that represents what's happening. So here's the floor, here's my wall, and here's my ladder. Okay, so my drawing sucks. Let me do better. It's better. Okay, so um, it's a 20 foot ladder. Right, the ladder is not going to shrink or get longer. It is 20 feet long. Uh, it's leaning against the wall. The bottom of the ladder is being pulled along the level pavement, pavement directly away from the wall. Okay, so again, so here's the wall. And then the ladder is being pulled in this direction. Um, and that is at a rate of 2 feet per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the vertical axis here, x, or sorry, <laughs> the horizontal axis, x, um, just like on the coordinate plane, just out of habit, and then the vertical axis, y. So... This will be dx dt, is being pulled away from the wall at 2 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall when the foot of the ladder is 4 feet from the wall? Okay, so the foot of the ladder, so these right here are the bottom pieces of the ladder. So it, it is going to be 4 feet from the wall. And we're being asked to find how fast, that's the rate, is the top of the ladder moving down. So how fast this is happening. 
And so since the other one was dx dt, this will be dy dt. All right. Um, we have x, we have dx dt, we have dy dt, or sorry, we have to look for dy dt. We have the hypotenuse, which is 20. What we don't have is y. Now, that might not be obvious right away, so I'm going to pretend like I didn't know, and I'm just going to move on. This is a right triangle, and for the most part, if we're dealing with the sides of right triangles and they're just getting bigger or smaller, uh, the Pythagorean theorem is your safe bet. So x squared plus y squared equals z squared. So this is my equation. I'm going to derive it. 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 2z dz dt. Okay, so plug in the stuff that you have, right? So 2 times x times dx dt plus 2 times y dy dt equals 2 times z dz dt. Okay, so for x, x is 4, dy dt is 2. For y, y is, oh, that's right, I don't have a y. So I'm going to have to take care of that. dy dt is the thing I'm looking for, so there's nothing to plug in because that's what I'm going to solve for. z um, is basically the ladder's length, which is 20, and it's not going to change. So z is actually a constant number. And when it's a constant number, you're actually able to plug that in at the very beginning. I could have just called this 20. And when I derived it, what would I have gotten? I would have gotten 0. So I didn't plug it in at the beginning, right, as a lesson. From here on out, I will be plugging it in at the beginning. But that's okay, because if 20 is a constant and I were to derive it to get dz dt, what would be dz dt? It would be 0. So, 0. So 2 times 20 is 40, 40 times 0. Oh, look at that. Still very much 0. Alright, now back to the dilemma here. We're missing y. So I need to find y. Okay, now, to find y, I'm going to use the original function, x squared plus y squared oops, equals z squared. Now x was 4, y is what we're looking for, and z was 20. So then, um, do the math. So 16 plus y squared equals 400, so y squared equals 384, so y equals the square root, oops, oh boy, okay, the square root of 384. And to be accurate, I'm going to leave it as the square root of 384. So I'm going to come up up here and plug in the square root of 384. Simplify, whatever you can. 2 times 4 times 2, so 16. Um, plus 2 square root of 384 dy dt equals 0. Move the 16 over. dy dt equals negative 16. Divide. dy dt equals negative 16 over 2 times the square root of 384. And dy dt equals negative 8 the square root of 384. And um, these numbers aren't pretty, so um, you could make it into a decimal if you like. dy dt is therefore a negative 0 0.408, always to three decimal places, and then feet per second. Now this is the rate at which the ladder is falling top of the ladder is falling um, or moving down the wall. And because it is falling, it should be negative, right? 
example two, Tweety is resting on the branch of a tree 24 feet off the ground. Okay, so 24 feet off the ground, so here's the ground. Um, using a 26 foot ladder, which he leaned against the branch, Sylvester tries to steal the small wheel bird. Tweety's bodyguard, Hector the dog, starts pulling the base of the ladder away from the tree at a rate of 2 feet per second. So I'm going to call this X, I'm going to call this Y, and um, he is pulling the ladder away. So DX, DT is 2. How fast is the ladder falling? So what is DY, DT? Um, when it, the ladder, is 10 feet off the ground. So DX, or sorry, DY, DT, that's what we're looking for. Um, when y is actually 10. Now, you might be a little confused. Well, what's 24? 24 is how high the branch, or Tweety, is off the floor. Um, but obviously, if the dog pulls the ladder away, that ladder is going to start to fall. And so they want to know the rate, specifically when the ladder is only 10 feet off the ground. Alright, so, um, Pythagorean Theorem. x squared plus y squared equals, now, 26 is the ladder again. It's not going to change size, so I'm just going to write 26. Uh, derive 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals zero. Remember in the previous example I plugged in z and I went through the whole explanation as to why it becomes zero. Don't have to do that. It is a constant. So you can just plug it in at the very beginning. Okay, so two times x. Uh, what is x? Oh, that's right. They didn't give us x, so we're going to have to find it. dx dt um, is two. And then plus two times y, which is ten, because they want us to look at when the ladder is ten feet off the ground. Um, and then dy dt is what we're looking for. Um, and zero. Alright, so to find x. Let me do that. Let me move this over. Okay, so x. Oops. So to find x, uh, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And what we're going to do is. We're going to have to remember the relationship, right, between x and y which is the Pythagorean Theorem. Now this is what we had. Now x is what we're looking for. And y, see we want to know what x is when y is 10. Okay, and then just solve. Um, x, 10 squared is 126. Oops, I forgot to write this squared. 26 squared is um, 676. Or, okay, did I memorize that incorrectly? Yeah, 676. Alright, so subtract 100, right? or, or let me just write it all out. Subtract 100 and I get x squared equals 576, um, which means if you square root 576, you get 24. So x is 24. So now I can plug that in right there. Simplify, which you have now. 2 times 24 is 48. 48 times 2. 26 plus 20 dy dx. Um, subtract the 96. And then you get uh, you get to divide both sides by 20. And then I could simplify that sum. Um, dy dx uh, 4 goes into both. Right. Yes, 24 over 5. Now, if we recall, the ladder was falling. Right? Um, it was falling. It wasn't supposed to... Oh, yeah. Negative, Narita. Negative, sorry. We subtracted the 96 to both sides. So the ladder was falling, so dy dx should be negative. 24 divided by 5. See, good opportunity to make a mistake, like I did. Um, and then this is feet per second. 
Um, just remember, keywords, falling, liquid is being removed, um, emptying it out, whatever, it depends on the word problem. Um, but should be an indicator of should your answer be negative or not. And then what does it stand for? Um, so this is the rate at which the ladder is falling. Um, so, alright, next. Example three, a child is flying a kite. The kite is 90 feet above the child's hand level and the wind is blowing it, in a, it on a horizontal course of 5 feet per second. How fast is the child letting out the cord when 100 feet of cord is out? Assume that the cord forms a straight line. Alright, so let's make pretend. So here's a little kid. And this kid is flying a kite, right? Um, and the kite started off above his head. 90 feet above his head. Or her head. Whatever. Um, there is a horizontal shift here because of the wind. Um, so let's, let's move to the... Okay, why can't I write? Alright, let's move to the right. Um, so this I'll call X. And so it is being pushed this direction. So dx dt is the rate at which it's being pushed horizontally. So it's 5. So obviously, the kite might have started up here. Right? So it's a kite. Let's pretend I can draw. And then it gets pushed. And now suddenly, the kite is over here somewhere. Okay? Um, how fast is the child letting out the cord when 150 feet of cord is out? Okay, so, right here, the kite is now, we're using 150 feet of cord, right, because it was pushed by the wind. So let's see. The original height since the kite isn't really being moved up or down, it's just that it's being moved horizontally, it's, it's still valid. It is still 90 feet up. It's just over to the right. So I'm going to call this Y. Um, or I said Y and I wrote X. Love it. I'm going to call this Y. Maybe I can learn how to write better. Alright, we're going to call that y. It is constant because the height up, straight up anyway, does not change. Um, the hypotenuse is going to be z. Okay. And then x, uh, we do not have x. We do have dx dt. Now, what are they asking me to look for? How fast is the child letting out the cord when 150 feet of cord is out? Okay, so if the red dotted line is the cord length of 150 feet, then I'm looking for the rate of that length. Okay, so dz dt is this, and that is what I'm looking for. Once again, Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Now in this problem, my constant is the y, the only value that's not changing um, in any way. The, the, the vertical distance is still 90, no matter if the kite is in its original position or up a, over to the right after being pushed from the wind. It's still 90 feet up. Of course, 90 feet up means the distance from the child is different um, if I'm going directly is the red dotted line. Okay, so I did say that I was missing x. We have y. So basically, I can derive this. But the y is the constant. So instead of deriving y squared, I'm very much allowed to derive oh, I can't write. 90 squared. There we go. 90 squared is 0, so there's no need for me to write it down. 2z, dz, dt. Alright, so 
We're missing X. The X DT is 5. Oh, look at that. I wrote DX DX. Awesome. DX DT is 5. 2 times Z, which is 150. And then DZ DT is what we're looking for. So 300 DZ T. And then this is going to be 10 times something. Now I need to find X. Alright, back to the beginning. We're going to use this to find X. So, well, let me just get rid of that. Okay, x squared plus 9d squared equals z squared. I don't have x, but I do have z. Um, 9d squared is 1800, and z is 150. So then 150 squared um, is 225,00. Subtract 1800 from both sides, and I get x squared equals 14. Four zero zero, and then x is the square root of one forty four zero zero, um, which is just one hundred and twenty. So x is one twenty. Okay, so ten times one twenty, twelve hundred. Divide by three hundred both sides, so dz dt is by itself, and I get twelve hundred divided by three hundred, which is four. So dz dt is both. And that is feet per second. So my answer is the child is letting out the cord at four feet per second. Now, letting out the cord means the child is making the cord longer, right? Well, what if the child is making the cord shorter? Would my answer be positive? So hopefully you're like, no, it would be negative, right? Because, okay, make it a solid. Example four. A six foot tall man walks away from a street light which is 15 feet high. If the man walks at six feet per second, how fast is the length of the shadow changing? So this is the proportions part. Um, and so here I have a diagram. Dude's six feet tall. The light post is 15 feet tall. Um, he's walking at a rate of six feet. Um, how fast is the length of the shadow changing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label X and Y something. Right, so I'll call this piece right here, I'll call that X, and I'll call this piece Y, and then um, this whole entire side then will be X plus Y. And his rate, so of him walking away, so that's DX DT, is going to be 6. And how fast is the length of his shadow changing? So this is his shadow right here, I want to know how fast this is changing. So what we're looking for is dy dt. So we're going to have to write a proportion first and foremost, because we need an equation, and this is not a formula. There's no basic formula here. It's not Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so we're going to have to write our own equation, an equation that works and very easy to do with similar triangles, which is what this is, and a proportion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a proportion with the big triangle first. Okay, so 15 over x plus y. And now I can make a proportion with the smaller triangle, which would just be 6 over y. Just be careful that, you know, I put the 15 on top, which was this distance, the horizontal, or vertical distance, so therefore I should put the vertical distance of the small triangle on top as well. Cross multiply, and I get 15y equals 6x plus 6y. Uh, I could put like terms together, so minus 6y minus 6y, so 9y equals 6x. And looking back, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, I'm looking for dy dt. So it would probably be a good idea to get the y alone. Isolate it. Solve for y. So y equals 6 divided by 9, which is just basically 2 thirds x. So here is my equation. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So there's my equation. Um, so now that I have an equation, I'll simplify it and whatnot. I want to derive it. I have not derived yet, right? I was just doing regular simple math, simple algebra. So derive. I get dy dt equals two thirds dx dt. And now I would like to plug in the stuff that I need to plug in, or the only thing I have. dx dt was 6, 
So two thirds times six. So dy dt is two times six, which is 12. 12 divided by three, which is four feet per second. And voila. All right, last example, super similar. A man five feet tall walks at a rate of three feet per second away from a light that is 22 feet above the ground. Okay, so here's my light. It's 22 feet above the ground, right? Here's my light, it's shining, whatever. A uh, dude is, oh, well, that's not even a straight line. <laughs> so dude is, how tall? He's five feet tall. Um, I'm gonna call this X, I'm gonna call this Y. The whole thing will be X plus Y. Um, he's walking at a rate of three feet per second. He's walking away from the light. Um, when he is 12 feet from the base of the light, so when he is 12 feet, so when x is 12, oops, so when x is 12, how fast is the length of his shadow changing? So again, this is his shadow. Um, so basically, what is dy dt? Alright, so write out an equation by starting out at proportion. So 22 over x plus y equals 5 over y cross multiply. 22y equals 5x plus 5y. Uh, combine like terms. Uh, so minus 5y minus 5y. 17y equals 5x. Let me look back at what it is I'm supposed to solve for. dy dt would probably be a good idea to get y alone. So 5x divided by 17. Um, and so here's my equation. And this is what I'm going to derive. So deriving this, I get, I'm just going to move up here, dy dt equals 5 over 17 dx dt. Plug in the dx dt, which was 3. Um, so dy dt is 15 over 17. And that is how fast the length of the shadow is changing. And this is what? Feet per second. Alright, that's it. Now practice problems.